Good evening everyone and welcome to our KCS Virtual Award Ceremony. We would like to thank all the staff and students for the time and effort that is exerted throughout the school year. While this year did not go as planned, there were still many reasons to celebrate the hard work of the KCS community. Lord Dufferin, Canada's third Governor General after Confederation, created the Academic Medals in 1873 to encourage academic excellence across the nation. Over the years, they have become the most prestigious award that students in Canadian schools can receive. For more than 140 years, the Governor General's Academic Medals have recognized the outstanding scholastic achievements of students in Canada. They are awarded to the student graduating with the highest average from a high school as well as from approved college or university programs. Today, the Governor General's Academic Medals are awarded at four distinct levels. Bronze at the secondary school level, collegiate bronze at the post-secondary diploma level, silver at the undergraduate level, and gold at the graduate level. Medals are presented on behalf of the Governor General by participating educational institutions along with personalized certificates signed by the Governor General. There is no monetary award associated with the medal. The recipient of this award had only one mark below 96% in grade 12. In grade 12, the student had an overall average of 97.5% and a combined average of 95.2% in her last two years. I actually still see this former student practicing their cross-country run by the school quite often. I am very proud to present the deserving recipient of this year's Governor General Award to Emily Polesfoot. Congratulations, Emily. This year's MVP award goes to Jace Borgel. Jace has been part of the KCS cross country team for his whole high school career. Jace is a dedicated and hardworking runner. He attended as many practices as he could, although he also had a part-time job to juggle with practices. Jace's most endearing quality was that he was always encouraging to other runners. He always tried his best no matter what. I remember keeping pace often for Jace and every time he would turn around and see me catching up, he would run faster to stay ahead. We appreciate Jace's tenacity, persistence, and positive attitude. We will miss you on our team and hope that you will continue to keep running in the future. Congratulations, Jace Borgel. I'm Erin Pinsman and I'm here this evening to present the Golfer of the Year Award on behalf of coaches Dave Lukanen and Rob Cody. This year's winner of Golfer of the Year was a member of the winning district team at Provincials. The coaches have said that they are happy that this student has two more years to continue his growth and they can't wait to see where that takes him. Congratulations to this year's Golfer of the Year, Court Tenal. My name is Byron Baswick. I'm the head coach of the football team here, and I'm honored to be able to award a, a few awards here this evening. Um, first one I'm going to uh, hand out is our leadership award. It's going to Hudson Bain. Um, your willingness to put the team first and lead with a positive attitude was fun to watch as coaches. We were there, you were there for a true example of what leadership is, right from the start of the season to the end. Thank you for that. It made the season a member one for me, and congratulations on this award. The next one I'd like to give out is to Seth Cron, and is the Unsung Hero Award. Your attitude, your willingness to do whatever the coaches asked was very appreciated. You did a lot of things that no one else would see. You played a big role in our, su our success this season, and I wanted to say thank you. You made an impact on our team and the coaches. Congratulations on winning this award. 
And last, I would like to hand out the defensive M M MOP. Sean was the heart and soul of our defense. He will leave a legacy of hard work and determination for the players coming after him. Thank you for being a great teammate. You were a pleasure to coach. Congratulations on this award. My name is Coach Clausen. I am the offensive coordinator for the Cobras football team. I'm here to hand out two awards today. The first one is to our most outstanding player on offense, and that award goes to Cody Besswitherick. Um, this kid came to us this year. He was new uh, to our club, um, and he played absolutely every position on offense except for one, which I should have thrown him in because it was a coach's error. But, uh, he was the heart and soul of our offense. Uh, he was great at everything he did, and just congratulations on this award. The second award we're going to hand out today is uh, to a special teams player uh, for excellence throughout um, all facets of our special teams. So Declan Smith was our kicker, um, did some amazing runbacks throughout the course of the year, and uh, was great at coverage on uh, special teams as well. So. Congratulations going out to Declan for this award. of coaching the junior girls volleyball team at KCS. There were some challenges, especially having 14 girls on the team, but they all worked really hard and I saw a lot of improvement from everyone. We won our home tournament and leader tournament and did very well in others. And we made our way to districts where the girls lost disappointingly in the semifinal. I do look forward to watching these girls play in the future. Choosing an award winner this year was very difficult, but this year's MVP winners were chosen for their dedication to improvement. Both served extremely consistently, especially at districts, and allowed us to gain huge advantages over a few teams. The 2019-2020 season MVPs are Hayden Severson and Jaden Perkins. Congratulations and good luck in the future. Johnson and I'm going to be presenting the Junior Boys Volleyball Awards. I was lucky enough to coach these seven young players this year, all very enthusiastic and improved so much over the season. And uh, we picked two awards and the most improved award is going to go to Jace Reichert. Jace became a very consistent server and an excellent setter throughout the season and hopefully that's going to keep growing with him as he moves on to the seniors. And the MVP this year for our volleyball team was Ben Ortman. Ben's a strong server, uh, not afraid to hit the floor, dive for balls, and he had excellent net presence, uh, getting some key blocks in our, in our games. So thank you for the 2020 Junior Boys Awards. Last year's volleyball season, we were quite skeptical how it would turn out. I would never coached before and wasn't really sure how to approach it. But after the season, I'm grateful I decided to take on the task. At the beginning of the season, we knew this would be a learning season for all of us. It was incredible to see how far they had grown as a team and very impressive when they won third place at our last tournament. We are so proud of the improvement we saw from the entire team over the season and can't wait to see how they continue growing as athletes. Our first award we would like to present is our most dedicated player. This young lady worked extremely hard and we saw a lot of progress from her as well. She was always willing to listen and take pointers where improvement was needed. Once we began working with her, she showed us our, her killer serve 
and eventually how well she could hit. Even when we worked on this for hours and hours, she never gave up. We are happy to give this award to Caden Lake. My name is Miss Davidson and I teach at Westbury School. When I was approached to coach the senior girls B team, I was very excited and a little bit nervous, just like Miss Cranston. I'd never coached at this level before, and so it was a little bit of a daunting task, but the girls were fantastic, and thank you to all the parents for driving. Uh, we had a great season, even though it was a little bit rough at the start, figuring out our rotations and who is going to play what position uh, but it was very exciting and so thank you to all of the hard work and to all of the ladies that uh, we got to work with. Uh, for our most improved player I would like to talk about this this player. She started off at the beginning of the season and we saw potential for her to start in a brand new position that she had never played before. We threw her in in one game and you could see that she was very nervous, but yet she did her very best. And as we worked with this player, she got better and better, and she was beginning to know her placement, and she was quick. She was, uh, the improvement in her passing and her setting and her digging were just amazing. So we would like to give this most improved player award to Jordan Gilmore. Lastly, we've decided to do two MVP players simply because we could not choose between the two. Um, we've decided that the two very hardworking girls are Monica Sinclair, our setter, and Lynn Damasco. Uh, Monica was such a great player to have on our team. She had such a great attitude and was willing to do all of the hard work. And it's just wonderful to see how far she's come. She was a calm presence on the court and was just a, a great, great player to have on our team. Lynn, her height, thank you for being so tall. <laughs> um, you did wonderful. You really worked on your movement and we we're just so happy that you were able to show us your ability to be determined and keep working at all of the new techniques that we were showing you and your serving was awesome so we just want to thank you so much and we're excited to see where all of your um, ability takes you. I'm Ms. Fast. Mrs. Reichert and I were the coaches for the Senior Girls Black team. We are pleased to be presenting awards for our team tonight. As with any season, we had our ups and downs, but are proud to say that our team consistently demonstrated teamwork, determination, and sportsmanship. While the season may not have ended like we hoped, we had some great memories to hang on to. We will not forget the highlight of the season. <clears throat> demonstrating that teamwork and determination in our semi-final game against Moose Jaw, beating them in a very exciting match and taking us to the final. We took home the silver medal at that leader tournament, but to us, it definitely felt like gold. To close off the season, we had a great time with the team at the Huskies volleyball games. And while we unfortunately aren't able to give these awards today in person, we are thankful that we were able to personally hand out uh, the candy awards at the Husky game. Our first award goes to our most improved player. This girl gave it her all at practices and it was so fun watching her volleyball skills and confidence grow throughout the season. As a rookie player, she didn't have as much court time as some of our other players, but her attitude and her spirit on and off the court always kept the team and coaches upbeat. Congratulations to our most improved player, Maddie McPhee. For our second award, um, we had a great group of dedicated players this season and choosing only one just wasn't realistic. Our most dedicated award goes to two girls who were committed to all aspects of the team and who showed up with positive attitudes and worked hard at every practice clearly demonstrating their love of the game. These girls will both be missed as they are both graduating this year. 
Congratulations to our most dedicated players, Joe Nanda and Jensen Reichert. Hi, I'm Mrs. Reichert. Our Heart and Hustle Award goes to a player who always left everything out on the court, was always looking to learn and improve, has a no-quit attitude, and was a pleasure to coach. She demonstrates great leadership, sportsmanship, and is respected by her teammates on and off the court. Congratulations to Jill Torrens on receiving the Heart and Hustle Award. Our final award goes to our MVP. This is that player who holds the team together and you can't do without. She was a consistent player and a quiet but strong leader. We asked a lot of her on and off the court and she always came through. She held a strong presence on the court and will be missed in the years to come. Congratulations to our most valuable player, Tori Werner. We would like to thank the parents for all your support you provide throughout the season, whether it be through driving or cheering us on at games and tournaments. And of course, we would like to thank all of our players. It was fun to coach each of you this past season. We are hopeful that we will be able to carry on with a strong season in the fall. Thank you. opportunity to coach the senior boys volleyball team this season. I want to thank Jordan Hawkyard for stepping up and helping coach the team this year. He expressed in the beginning he knew very little about volleyball, but that showed very different at the practices and games he showed in strength, skills and support to the team and myself. We had the same understanding on coaching to be able to help the boys improve individually and as a team. More lines, more push-ups. I appreciate having him as a coach. I feel we had a great season with great improvement. Lots of talking through gritted teeth, hundreds of lines, and I hope the boys enjoyed it. I enjoyed coaching and spending time with the boys. They had drive and worked hard in practices and games. This showed throughout the season as they came together more as a team. They played hard in the Dinsmore tournament, coming in first place in the round robin, but unfortunately losing in the finals. And in the Cabri tournament, playing six games, fighting our way to the final game, playing against Cabri, and taking the final game to three sets, the boys were extremely tired, asking me to be subbed out and falling asleep on the bench, not mentioning any game names, Gabe. They played hard and the boys ended up in second place. You boys should be proud of yourselves for how you've improved and how well you played. I'm extremely proud of you. It is an honor to coach you, watch you play and be part of the team. Choosing the awards was difficult. And with that said, most dedicated, this year's most dedicated player is one of our great tens, who stepped up for us and did whatever was asked of him, and gave us all in every practice and match this season. This year's most dedicated player is Jacob Trehuba. Most improved. Our most improved player is our team's other grade 12, but before this year he had very little formal volleyball experience. In spite of his inexperience, he is still on our team key players, and someone we could rely on to step up when needed, when we needed him. This year, most improved player is Liam Lang. MVP. Our MVP is one of our great 12s and our team captain. He set a strong example for us and we always knew we could depend on him for leadership, even when, in, when facing adversity. This year's MVP is Brown Leismeister. Thank you. saying that this was the best team I could have hoped for to coach. Throughout the season, each of them gave their all in each game and practice. With all their efforts, they were able to go undefeated and become district champs. And the first award is for the most dedicated player. She was there in every practice, game, and tournament, ready to play and give it her all. This award goes to Sophia Soto. The second award is for the most improved player. This was her first year playing, and since the first practice, she has shown incredible growth. She is always willing to learn from her coaches and teammates and proved her skills at districts. I would like to present this award to Michaela Herbst. 
The next award is for the player with the most pride, hustle, and desire. She has shown the most spirit for the game. For every practice and game, I can always count on her to give it her all, even if I can only give her a few minutes for breaks. This award goes to Jaden Perkins. And for the final award, we have a tie for MVP. These two players always encouraged their teammates, stayed positive during tough games, and worked for every second they were on the court. I would like to present this award to Georgia Johnson and Nevada Mitchell McCloyne. Johnson and I'm going to be presenting the um, Junior Boys Basketball Award on behalf of the co-coaches Jess Dirksen and Josh Dirksen. Uh, I'd like to thank the two coaches uh, from the community for uh, bringing their expertise and their skill to our, uh, to our student athletes this year. Uh, the, they've chosen uh, four awards and the first award is the Heart and Hustle Award and that goes to Ryden Walter. He uh, obviously showed, and I got to ref him a little bit, the, the boys, and he hustled his butt off every game and uh, scored a couple points every game too. Uh, the second award is most dedicated, and that goes to Ty Stewart. This guy really, really hustled. He went to every practice. He just worked really hard at the game. And the third award is the most improved. And that goes to Keaton Cody. Keaton saw him in the gym all the time working on his shooting, and obviously it paid off. Most improved player. And the MVP this year is Noah Dirksen. Watched him in the gym, watched him in games. Excellent shooter, excellent skills, uh, strong uh, hustle on the floor, and leadership. Thank you. Kelly and Kevin and I coached the senior girls basketball team this year. We just wanted to say thank you to all the girls who played on the team. Um, we had an awesome year and you did a really, really great job. You worked as a team and motivated one another to do your best, so thank you. So for the awards, we have five. The first one we have is Most Dedicated, and we decided that this award would go to Brittany Gartner. So Brittany came to practice in every game with the most positive attitude. We never had to ask her, she just encouraged her teammates to work their hardest and she always showed her best efforts. Her readiness to always be on the court showed how much she loved the game. And we can't wait to see you next year. Um, most improved, this year we decided um, Shiondri Herbst would be very deserving. So Shiondri came to practice always ready to learn. At times, she needed some encouragement, but was always willing to put her all into practices and games. We as coaches have never seen someone improve so much in such a short period of time, and we can't wait to see what next year brings. Uh, for most valuable player, we chose uh, Joe Nanda. Um, Joe is a leader on and off the court, and there's no doubt about that. Um, Joe was a player who always showed up and gave 100% in games and practices. While watching Joe play against teams from around the province, it was clear her skills were above those she was competing against. It was a wonderful year coaching you, and we wish you all the best next year. We will certainly miss you. And our next one, the Pride, Hustle, and Desire Award. Um, this award was really, really easy for us to choose. Uh, and it is going out to Jillian Torrance. So Jill's positivity and drive lifted the team through many tough games. And she always left everything she had on the court. Jill is a pleasure to coach and always made everyone feel like an important part of the team. Great work this year. Also, Kevin says, don't forget to go left. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and then our last award that we chose was the Coaches Award. And for this one, we chose Tegan Elliott. So Tegan is an all-around hard worker, and she's an, always a positive influence to her teammates. She is always smiling and pushing herself out of her comfort zone to improve her skills. Tegan scored the tie-breaking layup to beat out Maple Creek for a spot at regionals, and it was amazing. A memory Kevin will never have, <laughs> but one I will never forget. Awesome job, and can't wait to see you next year. I'm Angie Johnson. I am the coach of the Senior Boys uh, Basketball Tournament team and uh, we had an excellent 2019-20 season. Every uh, player worked as hard as they could to improve throughout the year and it really uh, showed off uh, at tournament play, uh, finishing second in, uh, um, in bigger and finishing first in our home tournament. And um, uh, we're going to give a few awards out today. And the first award we're going to give out is the Most Improved Award. This is going to go to Roel Pastano. Uh, Roel, not just Most Improved this season, but we're looking at right from grade 8 and 9 all the way up. Just his heart and hustle, desire, athletic ability just came full house this year. It was really nice to see. Excellent job, Roel. Uh, top forward this year will be Declan Smith. Declan. And also, I like to call him Mr. Consistency and uh, Chairman of the Boards. This, this, he never ceases to amaze me, his heart, his hustle, his drive to take the ball to the basket and just take charge in a game. Uh, next award is going to go to the top guard and this will be to John Orion. John is an all-around excellent player, heart, desire, uh, hustle, hits the floor, defense, offense. His three-point shot is awesome, and uh, he's really working on all his skills. And excellent leader, lots of talk, lots of hustle. Top guard, John Orion. Uh, last award is going to be our Heart and Hustle Award, and this will go to Stephen May. He is an absolute beast on the court. His presence is known right from the tip off, and uh, every game he gives it his all. His defense, his offense, he is the energizer bunny, and he keeps us running and gunning all game. And just really want to thank the boys for an awesome season. Good job. And the crescendo on the season was we got to be second time in a row, the conference 2020 champs. Atta boys. Good job. KCS Cobras. Johnson and I'm going to be presenting the Senior Boys Basketball Development Team Awards. This year we had to have two teams for Senior Boys Basketball with so much interest and talent at our school. We are really fortunate and lucky for that. And so with the development team uh, we have three awards and the first award we're going to give out is the Most Improved Award and that goes to Matthew Livingston. He developed a good baseline jumper and lots of presence in the paint as the, as the year went on. Just great intensity. Good job. Uh, next award is going to be the Top Guard Award. And that's going to be to Brennan Say. Brennan Say relentlessly worked on his three-pointers. And it showed in games. Knocking down four, five, six three-pointers. And just really working on his uh, ball handling skills. And just being a strong leader. And the Top Forward Award is going to go to Tulani Beloy. He's a grade 12 player and his heart and hustle was uh, predominant in the games and the tournaments and we we're just really fortunate to have his leadership and his work ethic on our team. And the last award for the development team is going to go to the heart of basketball, Colton Fast. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so much fun with Colton this year. The boys on the teams just totally loved him in practices and we worked with him and 
and just him, his presence of just always being excited to be there and just absolutely loves the sport and cares so deeply about his teammates and a great example and hopefully we'll be able to show you the video later he made a shot last game of the year and the entire gym exploded hard of basketball cold and fast This year's curling season was unfortunately cut short due to COVID and we did not have a chance to do our wind-up party. On behalf of all the coaches, Brent Triffo, Chris Oscar and myself, we would like to say a big thank you to each and every one of you. We had so much fun every practice. There was laughter, fun, competitiveness, and also each of you was dedicated to coming out each week to learn and improve your skills. All three of us agreed you were the most enjoyable group to work with and that made choosing award winners very difficult. Most improved girl. Really wanted to give this to all our girls as each one improved so much but we did narrow it down to a tie. Congratulations Caitlin Miller and Elizabeth Summock. Most dedicated girl. And this award as well could have went to so many, but these two ladies did stand out. One juggles coaching gymnastics and the other, well, she just never misses a practice. And when she did, we were a bit concerned. Congratulations, Emily Smith and Harley Messer. MVP another difficult choice, which is a true testament of a great team. However, on a curling team, there is that one person that throws the last stone, which has always that added pressure. This year's recipient embraced that challenge for the first time and did a great job. The experience she gained this year is only going to make her that much stronger as a skip next year. Congratulations, Abby Summick. And now, for the Boys Awards. I am extremely proud of the entire Senior Boys Curling team as they advanced out of districts in, into the regional level and played some great competitive games there. I'm going to say this for the very last time, boys, so don't worry, but just imagine what this team could have done had they been together for an entire, for more than one season. Now. The winner for the most improved goes to someone who's at the start of the practices his delivery was pretty shaky but, it's, but he worked on it and he practiced and he fixed it and he made a lot of good shots especially when it counted. This year's most improved award goes to Riker Olofsson. Most dedicated award goes to the person on the team who was extremely committed to be at every practice and make a concerted effort to improve every time he stepped onto the ice. He was the gel of the team. The most dedicated award goes to Kaelin Van Vakakis. The MVP award goes to our quiet leader, our skipped who kept things calm out there when things got tense, and he called a lot of great shots, and he made a lot of those great shots too. This year's MVP award goes to Liam Lenny. presenting the KCS Cobra Athlete of the Year Awards for 2019-2020. Uh, just a note, uh, because of our shortened year and, and uh, not being able to fit all of the sports in, what we did was our criteria, instead of having to be in three sports, we decided that we're going to at least two sports and possibly more, depending on how many the students fit in. 
So we, and we also are going to choose one for each grade and gender. So we'll start off with the grade nines, uh, grade nine girls, and that Cobra Athlete of the Year is Georgia Johnson. Georgia played volleyball, basketball, and badminton. She is a, a strong leader, strong athlete, and excellent uh, desire to improve in each sport. Second grade nine award goes to the boys, and it is Yuan Sinfugo. He played football, volleyball, basketball, badminton. There's no sport that this gentleman cannot play. He is an all-around excellent athlete and a strong leader. Grade tens. Grade 10 girl winner, athlete of the year, Catlin Malagaya. Catlin played volleyball, basketball, and badminton. She was a strong leader in uh, her basketball season, and she's small, but she's mighty. Grade 10 boy. Winner is Gabe Esto. Gabe Esto played volleyball, basketball, badminton. He's also an all-around excellent soccer player. He is excellent athlete, uh, lots of heart, lots of hustle in each sport he plays. He's always in the gym working on his skills. Grade 11, grade 11 girl goes to Jill Torrens. Jill Torrens played volleyball, basketball. She is an excellent leader on and off the court. Her athleticism is second to none. When you see her play, you know she's out on the court. Grade 11 boy goes to Declan Smith. He played football and basketball and dominated in both those sports. His fitness is through the roof and he is an excellent leader on and off the court as well. Grade 12s, grade 12 girl, goes to Joe Nanda. Joe Nanda would play volleyball, basketball, badminton. She also helped coach the junior girls basketball and she refed basketball. She is always doing some type of fitness and some type of activity, always helping out an excellent athlete and for sure is deserving of this award. Grade 12 boy, Liam Lenny. Liam played volleyball, he curled, and he played badminton this year. He worked on hard on his fitness and it really showed in all the sports that he played. His leadership uh, in all the activities was uh, second to none and well done. Congratulations to all the KCS Cobra athletes of 2019-2020. Thank you. As SLC advisors, we are blessed to have the opportunity to work alongside hardworking young leaders every year. The group of grade 12s that we have this year have been an exceptional bunch. There's a group of them who have been with us since their first days in high school and have worked so hard, both in the spotlight and behind the scenes. They have single-handedly raised thousands of dollars for cancer research, made our school events run smoothly, are involved in athletics, and are volunteers in the community. They've all traveled with us to provincial and national leadership conferences, and we have witnessed the benefits of these conferences in their leadership. This makes it difficult when it comes time to choose awards. We couldn't narrow it down, so we decided we didn't have to. We're so sad that their year was cut short due to COVID, and they all deserve recognition. This year's leadership awards go to five students who have made a difference through their actions, their involvement in our school and our community. They have been active members for the past four years through thick and thin, and have been responsible for countless great things. We're going to miss them greatly. Congratulations to Jensen Reichert, Riker Olofsson, Courtney McKenzie, Caitlin Miller, and Callie Spruill. We can't wait to see where your leadership skills take you. The Interact Club is a Rotary-sponsored service club for young people. 
made up of members ages 14 to 18, Interact gives young people an opportunity to participate in fun, meaningful service projects. Along the way, Interactors develop their leadership skills and initiative while meeting new friends. This year's Interact Awards go to two deserving KCS students who exemplified service above self. The Junior Interact Award goes to Jill Dobbin. This year, Jill took on an initiative to expand programs within our club by attending a conference in Calgary where she liaised with other Interact members. Through this networking experience, Jill connected with an Interact club in Lethbridge and formed a partnership to support an international fundraising campaign. Thanks for all the work you put into our club this year, Jill, and congratulations. The Senior Interact Award goes to Riker Olofsson. Riker has been an active member of the Interact Club during his four years at KCS. Riker has demonstrated service above self and outstanding leadership in many ways during this time. Most notably, Riker led our club as president, where he led weekly meetings and did an outstanding job organizing activities for the Junior Interact Club at Westbury School. Thank you for your contributions to the Interact Club, Riker. Congratulations and all the best in the future. now like to present a musical selection by one of our many talented musicians here at KCS. Please sit back and enjoy this performance by our own Chelsea Martin. I once again want to thank all of my students for a great year. A little bit of a short year, however. Your dedication to creating great music and performing at a high level is always so much appreciated. Thanks to our administration team here at KCS, we once again got our jazz band going 
and our very first part of the year was a great success. The concert tour around town before Christmas brought so many positive comments. The following grade 10, 11, and 12, and now jazz awards were nominated and voted on by the students. Grade 10, the heartbeat of our percussion section. Congratulations to the very reliable Trinity Long. Grade 11, one of our anchors in our clarinet section, the multi-talented Chelsea Martin. Congratulations, Chelsea. Grade 12, the leader of our flute section, the very competent Joe Nanda. Congratulations, Joe. We are going to miss you. Jazz band, the spark and the fire in our jazz band. Mr. Mealy and him did many duels. The very talented guitar player, Blake Sautner. Blake, I am extremely proud to award this to you this year. The grade 10 award goes to Jill Dalvin, a very talented flute player who works very hard and is a leader in both her section and the rest of the band. The Rogers Director Award is awarded to two people, one in either grade 9 or 10, which is our junior award, and the other to a grade 11 or 12 student, which is our senior award. I would once again like to recognize Ron and Marilyn Rogers for establishing this award many years ago, and to the KCS BAM parents for now sponsoring it. The recipients are selected by myself and embody the following characteristics. Dedication, cooperation, leadership, and of course, musicianship. Both of these individuals have made huge impacts in both our concert and jazz band. As well, they have been a small part, sorry, not a small part, they've been a big part of the many small ensembles that perform for Legion services and small ensembles that entertain around our community. Both are dedicated to becoming better players by taking private lessons. And lastly, one of the most difficult things, because it's the not so fun jobs, they always show up for moving equipment. Our Junior Rogers Director Award for this year goes to Dylan Ahrens. Congratulations, Dylan, so well deserved. And our Senior Rogers Director Award recipient for this year is the very talented Evan Pelche. Congratulations, Evan. This is so well deserved by you, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate your assistance. Anytime I ask you to do something, you are always right there. Thanks again to all my band students, and I'm looking forward to next year. Thank you. SCC is honored to award awards for academic achievement to a deserving student. To receive this award, a student must receive a 90% average across eight courses in two semesters. We are glad to be able to give so many awards this year. In grade 10, our academic awards go to Shelby Rubley, Anastasia Brasotsky, Beth Summick, Callista Spence, Trinity Long, Harley Messer, Madison Wolfram, Jordan Gilmore, Alicia Beal, Serena Mathewson, Lowen Luzana, Gabe Esto, Caden Lake, Aiden St. Andres, Ella Wagner, Ethan Hilbig, and Dylan Ahrens. In grade 11, the deserving students are Charity Clausen, Marcus Lim, Kaylee Herner, Tia Townsend, Seth Cron, Jillian Torrens, Abigail Summick, Daniel Bazin, Cameron Gil Gailbraith, Chelsea Martin, Samantha Ma Mathewson, Safana Liepert, Evan Pelche, Joshua Valhauer, 
and Blake Sautner. And in grade 12, our deserving uh, students this year are Riker Olofsson, Jensen Reichert, Joe Nanda, Courtney McKenzie, Liam Lenny, Tori Warner, Kaylee Spruill, Shaylin Anderson, Caitlin Miller, Jace Borgel, and Kaylin Vambakakis. The SCC wants to congratulate all these award winners and wish them the best as they follow the path that they have chosen. The Spirit of KCS is awarded to a student in each grade level who embodies KCS's vision of spirit, excellence, and belonging. These students are friendly, respectful to staff, and their peers. These students are always willing to lend a hand to anyone and are inclusive to all. They display leadership, have a good work ethic, a smile for everyone, and are involved in extracurricular activities. They are students who are wonderful representatives of our school, and we are honoured to have them in our classrooms. Congratulations to this year's award winners. For grade 9, Annika German. For grade 10, Madeline McPhee. For grade 11, Jillian Torrance. And for grade 12, Jace Borgel. I had the opportunity to work with John and call him friend. John worked hard all the time, and by that I mean he took pride in everything that he did, was friendly to everyone he met, and put the needs of other people before his own. So this year when considering who the recipient of this award would be, we tried to choose a student that showed a definite interest towards the skills trade and also possessed some of the qualities that John had. Do they take pride in their work? Are they kind in interactions? Do they put the needs of others before they own their own? So this year, I am pleased to say that uh, the recipient of the John Valor Award is Hudson Bay. I'm Erin Pinsman, and it is my honor to present the Gloria Clark Hayden Awards for this year's awards ceremony. Gloria Clark was a Kindersley resident who attended what was known as Mackenzie School. As a student, Gloria was hardworking, responsible, and had a very positive attitude. She was not the top of her class, but she always strived to reach her full potential. She loved school and was active and became involved with many extracurricular activities. Gloria loved sports and was a coach's dream player. She worked hard, she played hard, was an exceptional leader, and was a true sportsman. Gloria later became a teacher and she worked in the Yorkton area. Gloria was unfortunately diagnosed with cancer and passed away shortly thereafter. Because Gloria had made such an impact upon her fellow classmates, when they met for a school reunion they wanted to honour her and decided to donate a trophy in her name to Kindersley Composite School. Today as we honour a senior and a junior student, we remember and recognise the impact that Gloria had on her school, her community, teachers, and fellow students, both here as a student and later as a teacher. The Gloria Clark Hayden Awards are given out to students who demonstrate exemplary work habits, have positive attitudes, are responsible and caring, and they deserve recognition for their efforts. They may or may not attain or maintain a honor roll average or high rubric standing. It is awarded to one junior student in grade 9 or 10 and one senior student in grade 11 or 12. This year, the recipients are, for the junior Gloria Clark Hayden, Madeline McPhee. Congratulations, Madeline. You do a great job of being an ambassador for our school. For senior, it's a tie between Caitlin Miller and Liam Lenny. Congratulations to both of you who also 
do a great job of being ambassadors for KCS in our community and our school. Congratulations on this honor. Okay, well, first I'd like to congratulate the 2020 grads of KCS. You have a few extra bumps in your post-grad life, but I'm sure you will navigate them with success. I'm here today to present the Susan T. Bear Award, uh, our most prestigious award. I have to admit, in all my years of presenting this, which is a fair few, um, this has got to be a first. Susan was our school librarian in the mid-1980s, and I was a friend of hers. I was on staff with her. And there will be a few of your parents that, had, that attended school um, that will remember her, because she was, she stood up. She was larger than life. And uh, that brings me kind of to the running theme of this, which is a life lived large. Susan was large of stature. She was large in her joy of life. She was large in her laughter. She was large in her professionalism, and she was especially large in her love of kids and students. Um, to her great joy, she found out she was pregnant in 1984. Um, at the same time, she was diagnosed with cancer. And she knew she took chemo and radiation excuse me guys, I always do this, um, that it would kill her baby. So she refused it. So shortly after her daughter Brianna was born, to her and her husband Michael, Susan died. She was only 27. In honor of her memory, we acknowledge those students that have high academic achievement, extra extracurricular and community involvement, personal honesty, integrity, and trustworthiness. And the recipients this year for Junior Susan Tiber Award, it is Jill Dobbin. Congratulations, Jill. And for the Senior Susan Tiber Award, it was Jensen Reichardt. And much congratulations, Jensen. I'm glad it rounded off your year. Thank you. Thank you for attending our virtual presentation of this year's Kindersley Composite Schools COBRA Awards. We look forward to seeing your smiling faces in the fall. Take care, everyone. <laughs>